And when you talk about the, uh, the, the, the reign of al-Maliki and the sectarianism of his government, could you elaborate on that? Because clearly, uh, al-Maliki, as a, as a Shiite leader and the majority of the population of Iraq being Shiite, uh, the United States has continued to back uh, his rule there, despite uh, his clampdown on any kind of dissent. Yes, um, we have enough evidence, actually, videos, uh, uh, speeches of Mr. Maliki himself, um, showing that this man is leading the country towards a, a civil war. Um, his, his, his previous press conferences accusing his partners of, of terrorism, um, sometimes uh, forging cases against them, as they say. Um, led the country to high tension, causing Sunnis to go um, into streets um, to protest and uh, to show their demands. Mr. Maliki refused most of these demands. Um, and to the limit, he accused them of uh, continuing some historical uh, event that took place 1,400 years ago. Uh, about 1,400 years ago, and he said that the killers of Imam Hussein are still living among—he um, meant Sunnis, among the other party, which he meant Sunnis. Mr. Maliki has failed to build uh, an Iraqi military that will respect human rights. I just want to say that fanatics, um, uh, Islamists, feed on such human rights breaches. It helps them to further their cause and to win more recruits. This is what has ha happening in Iraq. And you can see the videos of how the Iraqi army dealt with demonstrators in Hawija, how they killed men carrying sticks, uh, only uh, iron sticks, or sometimes carrying nothing. Um, uh, we could, you, you could see the video, the brutality of the military. Mr. Maliki punished no one. Mr. Maliki always refuses to address these issues, to de-escalate the uh, sectarian tensions in Iraq. Mr. Maliki always also refused um, to disarm um, some Iranian-backed, trained Shia militias, like al-Asaib. Uh, these kinds of actions caused the Sunni community to live in a turmoil. And here I think that the United States, uh, the administration, we, all of us, should speak loudly to stop the descent of the country into that civil war, to stop pushing ordinary people towards uh, fanatics to join their lines just to defend themselves against an army that is willing to kill them all.